In this screencast, we're going to talk about setting up multiple links within one piece of image called image map. Image mapping allows you to set up different hot spots within a single image. Let's look at the image that we'll be working with first. This image is the OG Solution logo section. And I want to make the home about learning curve clickable and they all should click to different pages. So I have two ways of doing this. First is by cutting this image into smaller pieces of image and piece them together using HTML. This way I can assign different links to the individual pieces of the image home about learning curve. The second way is to keep it as one image and use image map to set up hotspots for the home area, about area, and the learning curve area. Let's minimize these. Now I want to show you the required HTML code to set up an image map. You first need an image tag, then you set up the map. Within the map tag you need name because within the image tag you need to use use name with pound sign then the name of the map to associate the areas into this map or this image. Then you, within the map tag you set up area tag that defines the shape of the hotspot. You can do rectangle or you can do circle or you can do polygon. Let's keep it to rectangle. Once the browser knows the shape of your area, it will need the coordinates of the, the area. Since it's rectangle, the browser automatically knows that it's looking for four numbers separated by commas. These would be the coordinates within the image. Then you need to set up the href, which is the linking part. You can set up the target where you want this link to open the page in. You can do it to self or do not just don't do this, then it'll refresh us the same page. Or you can do blank that opens up a new window. Set up some alt tag alt attribute. This is description of this area. Then you can set up multiple areas with different shapes and different coordinates, different URLs. Just don't forget to do the use map here to associate to the map. Let's minimize this. Now if you have to go this extra step in setting up all the coordinates for your image map. It really gets confusing. And this is especially true if you are setting circle and polygon shapes. So I'm going to use the image map editor built into this awesome free tool called GIMP. I have GIMP opened. Let's open up that image. Now you see a lot of options here. Let's go to Filters, Web, Image Map. This allows you to set up Image Map using just mouse point clicks. Now let's do this. On the left side you see three shapes, rectangle, circle, polygon. You click on any one of them to set up that kind of shape within this image. Then once you've set set up your area, the selection part will list out all the areas that you have. Now let's try rectangle. You just move your mouse to the starting point, click, drag, click again. And you can set up your link here, http ogsolution.com. Apply, OK. Now the first area has been set up. Let's try the circle. Click on the circle. Click on the starting point and drag out. 
it's going to expand from the center point. Click on it again. HTTP blah.com. Okay. Let's try the polygon. So with polygon, it's a little bit different. You click on the starting point, you move your mouse to the next area, next point where you want to set your coordinates, click on it, and keep clicking on the different coordinates. Close the polygon and double click on the area. Now this window pops up again. You can set up a different URL. Click OK. Now we have three areas with three different shapes. Let's save as. Let me resize this window so you have a better view. Now it saves this into a dot map file name. Let's move to the right directory first. And let's just rename this image map.txt. Let's save it. Let's minimize everything. Bring back this folder. You see this image map.txt. Let's open it. You see the image tag with the source to image.jpg, the width, the height, the border. Then it uses the use map attribute with a pound sign and the name of the map which is map here. You can change it if you want. And the map is set up like this with name map. These are HTML comments. That gives credit to GIMP. So you can definitely leave it there. You have three areas with rectangle, circle, and polygon and their coordinates and URLs. Let's, if you want to use this map, just copy paste it in your HTML, the right area where this image should show up, and save it, load the page, and it should be there. Let's minimize this, minimize this. I want to show you a site where it uses image map, and it's a perfect place where you should apply your image map to. And the URL is here. The image map I want to show you is this top header image. Because the links are not like this, where it's all lined up, it's built within the image. It's harder for you to set up, cut up images like this and place them using HTML. So a better way of doing this is set up polygon shape coordinates areas. So this area would be linking to home, this area would be linking to cart, this is contact, and this is about us. Now let's look at the source. View page source. You see that the image map, the image is used here. Image tag, source, width, height, border, use map. And the name of the map is here. It's got alt text. Right after the image tag, the map is set up here with name, which matches the name associated inside the image tag. You see the four polygon shape areas with a lot of coordinates. Their URLs. You see the href, href, href title, title, you can do title too, and alt text. Then you have two extra area ta uh, tags, which doesn't have any coordinates or shape. That's because this area is basically the rest of the area you see the rest of the area is also clickable which brings users back to the home page and that's it for this screencast